The first step to composing a sequence in RenderWave Studio is to customise your layout to a configuration that will suit the task at hand. From the View menu, you can select from a number of default layouts, one of which is called Sequencer. These defaults are intended to be just that and can be freely modified to suit your particular preferences. You can easily create your own layout, as we have done here, and call it up for use at any time. For details on how to create your own custom layouts, please refer to the Customizing the Studio GUI tutorial, which is included with this DVD. Open the project file, sequencingforartists.rwstudio, supplied with these tutorials. Currently this consists of a world that has already been placed in the workspace and various other assets that we'll be wanting to place in the scene and animate using the sequencer. The sequencer can be accessed from the tab in the lower part of Studio's main window, immediately below the workspace. Clicking on this tab opens up the sequencer window. Currently it contains the default empty sequence. The first step is to create a sequence file for our project on disk. Click on the Save Sequence icon and save the sequence as Cutscene1.rf3. When prompted to add the file to the database, for now click No. Once the sequence has been saved, the name is displayed in the view pane. In the Asset window, we will navigate to a folder called The Truck. Double clicking to open it reveals an asset called truck.dff, a model of a missile launching vehicle. In addition, there is an animation truck.anm that makes the wheels rotate. First we'll expand the workspace to make it easier to navigate. Next we will drag the truck.dff into the workspace. Now by expanding the working folder truck in the game explorer, we can see that a new entity has been created. Expanding this reveals that the truck.dff is now a part of it. Next we add the animation by dragging it to the entity. Now we must add a suitable behaviour to drive our entity. Selecting the Behaviours tab gives access to all available behaviours of this project. From the Examples folder, select See Multi Animate. Drag and drop this onto the entity. Finally, we need to position the truck entity in the correct start position in the world. Selecting the Move tool, we can position the truck on the road roughly below the bridge. We are now ready to start animating.